What's up everybody? Uh this is Autopilot Beats. Um on this video I was gonna do a quick shot of uh what you do because uh on my previous videos on how to record in FL Studio 10. Um I was talking about make sure you do a certain thing in certain a certain way so that the track stays armed. I just redid my computer again. I had to wipe off the hard drive, of course that's Windows. That's Windows for you and then uh <clears throat> it'll uh, do that periodically if uh, you don't watch yourself on what you uh, accidentally download or whatnot, but that's beside the point. So let's get right to it. I just reinstalled FL Studio 10, so this what I was trying to get at is not the mixer, was what I was talking about. We're gonna, we're gonna assume that we already have everything set up in the mixer and our recording and all. Just just refer to my other videos to uh, see what I'm talking about. Um, if you already seen them, I mean, y'all have all subscribed to me. Y'all found some kind of video of interest. Um, we're going to go ahead and press record and it should have that dialogue box I was telling y'all about. It didn't before in the other videos because I had already I had already set up to where that dialogue box doesn't come back and the track stays armed. So you just click record. Here's that dialogue box I was telling y'all about. Okay? So what you want to do is do not I stress, do not click on any of these options. The audio in Edison, audio into the playlist, automation is for everything, show me more show me some more help don't click on none of that I stress what you want to do is you want to click on is don't ask this in the future and you want to X out of it and then you're done your tracks will stay on but you'll speed through your recordings this is my quick shot tutorial autopilot beat showing y'all that's how you would do it now say um you already did uh, go through that dialog dialogue box and you did accidentally click one of those I really don't know how to reverse that. The only way I know how to reverse that is for you is for you to uninstall FL Studio and then reinstall it, and then when you press record, do what I just showed y'all, and uh, that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace. I'll see you in the next video.